The great thing about neuroophthalmology is that we see a large variety of patients. And so some of our patients present complaining of things such as seeing double. So they're driving and they're unable to distinguish which car is ahead of them. Uh, some patients will come because their doctors have looked at their eyes and they looked at their optic nerves and are concerned that they're swelling. And so they want us to understand what the cause of it is. Um, some patients will present because they feel like they have a decrease in peripheral vision, not noticing that a car is coming up on them from the side. Strabismus, by definition, is a misalignment of the eyes. What allows us to see one image when we have two eyes is the fact that our eyes have to move in perfect coordination, like synchronized swimmers. And it's the brain that actually controls this movement. And so sometimes when people see double, and the result of this double vision is from a lack of coordination between eye movement, then we worry that this may be a representation that something is going on in the brain that is prohibiting it from coordinating eye movements. And so strabismus is a condition in which patients do not have coordinated eye movements. There are many causes for strabismus, so some patients will have been born with strabismus. Some patients will be born with a mild form of strabismus that they are able to control for most of their life. Stroke, which can be large strokes in the brain, or microscopic strokes such as from diabetes or high blood pressure, myasthenia gravis, or thyroid eye disease. Inflammation can be another cause of strabismus, where inflammation will infiltrate into the muscles and prevent the eye from moving in a coordinated fashion. So in terms of recovery from strabismus surgery, I generally tell patients that I'm not their favorite person for about two to three days. It's, you can see through your eyes and you can function as normal, but your eyes will feel like there's sand in it, it'll feel gritty and kind of irritated. And things that will help you get through this period is to rest your eyes as well as place cool packs on your eyes. But about three to four days later, as the pain will subside significantly, and then I become your favorite person again. A great benefit from receiving a neuroophthalmic exam from the Roski Eye Institute is that you're guaranteed to have a multidisciplinary approach to your problems. We work in concert with other providers at the university, specifically with the departments of neurosurgery, radiology, radiation oncology, neurology, and rheumatology. We work well together. One of the reasons why I became a doctor was to try to demystify medicine for my family and my patients. Before I became a doctor, seeing my parents go to the emergency room for pain was terrifying for me. I didn't know if this was going to be the last time I would see my dad and then realize later that he was just there because of something simple like gallstones. And so that type of mystery is what motivated me to become a doctor. I see myself as a translator for my patients to try to take all of the years of training that I have gone through and to try to explain to them what their condition is and to explain to them what their treatment options are. I don't see myself as a person to make decisions for them, I see as a, myself as playing a role in helping them make the best decision for themselves.